Hi friends, my name is Cassidy. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a Sims 4 speed build of a multi-family triplex beach condo. That was a mouthful. There is no custom content. Please go ahead and like this video because it really helps out my channel and subscribe so you know when I post a new video. I post every Wednesday and Saturday. And if you would like to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you can find me at cast games underscore and if you would like to download this build off of the gallery my id is cast games 95 this build is based off of a real life beach condo triplex that i have been to in real life that my grandma's brother my great uncle owns i haven't been to it since i was a little kid like, I want to say like 2003. It may have been later than that, but I want to say 2003. So it's been a very long time, almost 20 years. Wow, I'm old. <laughs> I've been since I was a little kid. So this was built completely on memory from when I was a child. I think I did pretty good. Like, it was a pretty simple layout. It's not 100% the same layout and obviously i never went into the other condos just one of them but i'm assuming they had the same layout like most triplexes duplexes do um they do in this this video in this build they have the same layout which made it easier and harder at the same time like it was easier because i knew exactly what i was building but it made it harder because I had to decorate three houses. I had to decorate three houses. It was fun though, because since it's three separate houses instead of one big house, you get to like do three separate styles, which I had a lot of fun doing. Like one, the first one I did like completely all white or the last one, I guess it depends on how you look at it. The first one I decorated, I did it all white. I didn't go in intending to do it all white, but then it just happened. I went in intending to do like a beachy theme and with like white painted wood and like light colors, get, like light and flowy, but I somehow ended up doing it completely all white. Um, and it didn't even turn out that beachy. It's just all white. Um, when I said that this layout isn't 100% the same as the original, like the actual house or condos, because the kitchen is dipped in a little bit, I don't remember what the kitchen really looked like. I remember it was tiny and I could not make a Sims kitchen that small and still functional I don't think maybe so the kitchen is a little bit bigger than it is in real life I don't even remember how small it was it, I just remember it was like the smallest kitchen I've ever seen in my entire life also the living room and dining area is bigger in real life but to fit on this lot I maybe should have used a bigger lot they had to be kind of small but I think it's okay. It just is a small condo. This house, there are enough beds in this house to accommodate 12 Sims, which is obviously more Sims than you can have in one household. But I figure you can like mix and match, like have a family of two and a family of four. That would be six and you'd have two sims left. Another family of two. Um, two families of four. Uh, a family of two, a family of four, and a family, one sim and a pet. Or you could get roommates to live in one of the condos. I don't really know if, I don't, I don't know, I'm gonna be honest. If roommates go against the amount of sims you can have in a, on a lot, because I've never, I haven't really done the whole roommates thing in the sims really. 
and especially not to like that level of having like eight sims plus a roommate. I don't know if you can do that. So there are more beds than your allowed sims, but it's okay. I put the bunk beds in that like little little clove in the hallway. In real life, the bunk beds are built into the wall and you can't do that in the sims there might be like some custom content or a mod that would allow you to do that but i'm just happy for bunk beds y'all like i'm glad we finally have bunk beds i did the middle condo in like all bright colors like i've never done a build like that where everything was just bright colors everywhere I had a lot of fun with that though like i like i said i don't really do that so being able to do that was pretty cool and i feel like the bright colors are kind of bg like not traditional bg or like really like coastal but like this eccentric beachy vibe like there are people who decorate their beach houses like this and I love them because they're, they don't care. They're like, yes, my house is orange and lime green and turquoise. What to do ya? In the last condo, I actually did try to make it a little more coastal. I did it in like a navy blue and white theme with some wicker furniture. I'm not a huge fan of wicker, especially inside sometimes i feel like it works sometimes inside and it does it works i like more modern looking wicker furniture like sometimes you see like more like really 80s wicker furniture and i'm just like that's i don't like that so not a huge fan of wicker <laughs> especially like old wicker that's made out of like i guess it's like reeds or grass or something is are reeds grass i don't know it like breaks and then like stick out but then like modern wicker is made out of like plastic and it doesn't look good i just i'm not a huge fan of wicker i just googled what wicker was made out of it can be made out of reeds um i'm not i don't hate all kinds of wicker like the more like boho-esque wicker i really like some wicker i really like i vibe with it passes the vibe check but other wicker i don't vibe with it's just too 80s and i'm not a fan why did that sound like i'm so passionate about wicker and that was your cast games review of wicker furniture that you all asked for you all asked for my opinion on wicker furniture so when you're buying your outdoor furniture this summer just remember like cast games does not <laughs> like that unless it's like modern or boho then she's okay with it but like you're not inviting me over for a patio party anyways so unless you are do you have a swimming pool? Can I swim in your swimming pool? This is getting weird. Y'all, I just want to let you know that I'm recording this. It's 1.16 in the morning. So I can't be held accountable for how weird I'm being. I mean, I can be. I'm an adult. I mean, I should be held accountable. Like, the time of the day does not negate accountability, okay? <laughs> if I'm... <laughs> I'm just... Like, wicker discourse, y'all up in here a quarter after one in the morning it's fine <laughs> i don't even remember how i got off on a tangent about wicker furniture like i wanted to be talking about the house and then i just started talking about wicker furniture um but the foundation kept messing up so i had to keep going in and like fixing it which was annoying to say the least I did the like, uh, I forgot what those were called. The, geez, um, you know what I'm talking about. The like sticks, they're not sticks, but they're like giant sticks to prop up the house. 
because that's how a lot of the houses like where this condo is a lot of the houses are built up stilts it's called stilts a lot of the houses are built up on stilts like that because there are hurricanes and it can flood and it's just to like protect them and this condo in real life is on stilts i don't know why it took me so long to be like i put this house on stilts because in real life it's on stilts and i called it giant sticks y'all i don't <laughs> i don't know what's going on with me tonight but um my next build is also a beach house but it's like just a big single family beach house it's also on giant sticks if y'all want to <laughs> subscribe so you can see when i post that one i put the sprinkler system on the outside of the condo so that if there's a fire on the lot it just like you know takes care of it since there are three kitchens on the lot the only problem with like having a multi-family sims house is that the sims are gonna like use each other's kitchens and stuff even if they don't aren't friends which is kind of hard for sims to live on the same lot without like knowing each other but then again it's also not that hard they just don't communicate with each other but they're still gonna be like walking in each other's houses and like watching their tvs and using their bathrooms and stuff and even sleeping in their beds sometimes probably weirdos i'm gonna be honest i don't remember what the roof looked like on the condos so i just put like three separate gabled roofs on it i think it looks fine but i, I can't remember what, what the real roof looked like i had a lot of fun building this since like like i said at the beginning each three each three each unit is a different design style and it was kind of fun because like when you build like one big house and it's like all the same style you're just like staring at the same style for however long it takes you to build and like doing this it allowed me to like it was like it like broke it up so it's not like all farmhouse or all coastal or all whatever it was like ooh, a little bit of tradition like all white traditional some bright colors like navy blue and white coastal it was fun to like split it up and not just be like one design style you know literally building three houses at one time but they're all the same so it wasn't as hard so here's a picture of the front outside so you get a picture of like what it looks like and the porches and here's like each individual porch. this is the all white porch they have a grill and the all white kitchen kind of traditional the living room all white some black pillows on the couch though the all white bedroom it's kind of boring honestly <laughs> here is the very bright colored porch definitely not boring and then their kitchen which is fun <laughs> and then their living room their couch almost matches their wall though but it's I don't know it's strange and in their bedroom I really like the bedside tables that I use they're like fun and they're like yellow I like the shape of them and their dresser I just I, I vibe with it I don't know that I would live in it but I vibe with it here is the porch of the like more coastal condo and the navy blue and white kitchen and the wicker couch that started the whole wicker discourse i think that's wicker i can't even tell from the picture i don't remember and the bedroom with like the light wood and the like blues and their their dresser <laughs> and here is an overview so you can get like an idea for the layout of each condo and them all together Alright guys, that is all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel. And subscribe so you know when I post a new video. I post every Wednesday and Saturday. And leave a comment down below any Sims content you would like to see me do on this channel. And I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye!